everybody, it's Martha. Welcome to my Shabby Craft Studio. I'm glad you're here with me. Hope you'll pull up some paper, cardstock, paper clips, embellishments, and uh, join me. Today we're going to work on these, what Gail Augustinelli dubbed the over the page and belly clips. However, mine are going to be smaller, but they're based on her pattern. So, um, I think she said she learned this at Creativation uh, when she went last year. And um, so, these make great embellishments. A lot of you said I needed to make hidden paper clips. This is the kind I like to make. Um, I've made some others, but these come out so nice and they're very sturdy. Um, they are thick, so, you know, if you don't want the thickness added to your journals um, to the edges of the pages, then you don't have to make them this way. Um, you can use cardstock or paper, although I think the cardstock holds up a lot better. Um, there are different weights of cardstock. You can get 65 pound or 110 pound. I believe I'm working with 110. Uh, so um, I don't know what that is equal to in GSM because I forgot to look at the package. If I figure it out, I'll let you know in the description below. And I will link Gail's video um, in the description below. And I will try and link it up here in the video as well. So what we're going to do is I, I found this size to be really nice. I um, had some strips of cardstock left over from making something else. And I took the, uh, the cardstock and the larger, these are the larger paper clips. Um, the small ones are, let me see if I can get one without sticking my head under the camera. Let me see. <laughs> and I can't find one. Okay, so that's a regular paper clip. Those are the large paper clips. I get mine at Staples. Um, yesterday all they had were gold, so I got them. They didn't have any silver in However, when I make these, I think they work a lot better with the large paper clips because it grabs onto more of a page. You can use it as a tuck spot as well. You can put them on the page sideways, at the top. Um, you could even put them on the bottom if you design them the right way and that's where you want them to go. Although, I don't think I'd do that, but hey, to each his own. <laughs> um, I did make a couple of these ones that I made the other day. I did make them sideways, um, orientation to be sideways. Of course, I can't find one of them now, but let's see. Oh, Martha. Now, these could go, well, they're oriented that way, but they could go sideways. Um, this one. This one goes sideways that way or that way. So, um, yeah, fun stuff. And, like, several of them I left unembellished in case... I want to put something that goes specifically with that journal. Say I'm using a digital set to make the journal with. If I want to put something that references that, I just do a neutral background. Um, this was already on the piece of paper that I used. And um, it's good to use up scraps this way. Um, basically, what you're doing is just making your base. And then you can collage it. You can paint it. You can glue paper on it and make it really easy on yourself. You can... Embellish it as much as you want. Just remember, it's already kind of bulky. So you need two layers. Um, and not two layers the same size. So these strips, which I really like, are two across, two inches across by four and a quarter long. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, I, I inked this paper this morning. And I really like the way it came out. So I am going, <laughs> going to show you that um, that size you will come out with some strips of leftover but hey that's the way it goes right so four and a quarter I'm going to do this way and I apologize for any background noises that you may hear um, my sliding door is open because it is a gorgeous day today and you can make these any size you want this is just the size I like so now I'm going to make these two. I'm going to do this down here. So I hope this finds everybody well. 
Um, I did this background with the inking method that I showed on my video. That's close enough to two. <laughs> it's a little wider, but you know, waste not, want not, right? Uh, four. Yeah, sometimes I have to stop and think about my orientations before I cut. Think twice, cut once. <laughs> I know, it's measure twice, cut once, but hey, you know. Um, and then, let's see, how wide is this one? This might be two. Eh, it's a little over two. So I'm just going to measure this to be four and a quarter. So I'll just use those. You know, the sizes vary. It's okay. Oops. So what I'm going to do for the insides, um, they do have to be a little smaller. And so I'm just using a cream cardstock. This one is 65 pound, which does thin it down just a little bit. So I am going to make these under four. So like three and three quarters. Um, because you don't want them sticking out from the, um, you know, from underneath the card. And then I'm going to make them a little under two. So like one and uh, math. Oops, that's three. <laughs> so like, this is going to be um, like one and, uh, let's see. Oh my God, math. I hate math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen sixteenths. How's that? It's going to be the line before the two. Well, actually, two lines before the two, I think. Just to play it on the safe side. You don't want it too short because um, it won't be as effective, I feel. That's that's my feeling. Uh, but you don't want it long enough that it sticks out either. So, you know. You know. So, Yeah. Um, so I think I started saying, I apologize for any noises you might hear. It's a gorgeous day here. Um, you know, I live on the 10th tee of a golf course and there's some construction going on somewhere or it's, um, it's either construction or it's, um, like leaf blowers and weed whackers and stuff like that because people around here hire landscapers to do their work. Okay. So we have our outside card, which can be plain. It can have a background. It can be a card stock that you print off with a neutral background. Doesn't matter. And you have your various sizes. Um, if you want everything to be exact because that's how you work, go for it. So I'm going to fold this in and And let me show you. So this is much shorter than that one. That's okay. Um, you can have it right up to the very edge. I just didn't want to mess with math today. <laughs> My other ones are were a lot more exact, but I can't take one apart to show you because they're all glued together now. So, now hopefully I didn't mess this up. Otherwise, I'm going to start this video over. Okay, you do want your paper clip to stick up a little bit here, and you don't want it to extend beyond the bottom of your inside card okay so oh I fold this oy, oy. it doesn't want to fold because of the ink on the one side it made it curl a lot okay and I need to get all right preparation <laughs> I was not prepared. So what's going to happen is this is going to go inside this. However, you need to have a slot at the top. Now you can take a craft knife, again, not prepared, and you can just take a tiny sliver across like this and let's see if that went through. Not really. Okay, you can put a slit in like that and just have it stick out like that. 
Or what I did was I took a, let me get it, because again, didn't prepare. I have, oh, where is it? Oh, no. Here it is. I have this teeny tiny, couldn't even tell you how big it is, um, hole punch. And it is, the actual hole is probably like a half inch. And um, you can use that. You can use probably your crocodile, the large hole on your crocodile, or you can use a hole punch like this. Um, however, um, this hole punch is a little too small and you have to kind of punch two holes and it makes it uneven on the top and I didn't like the way it looked. Um, but again, you can use your craft knife um, and just cut the slit in the top like that. Try and get it in the, you know, as close to the center as possible. And sometimes I have to finagle the paper clip around um, just to make it work right. And see the card is sticking out on the, on the right over here. So you don't want that. You want it to fit just inside the other card. Okay. Push that up a little bit in there. Actually, I want it up a teensy bit more than that. Okay, and that's what you want, okay? Um, so I'll, I showed you with the craft knife. So I'll do another one. Fold this. Oops. And if you have a teeny tiny hole punch like this, I sort of find the center. Oh, I <laughs> did not fold straight. And honestly, you can cut the edges off if you fold it crooked. You know, don't sweat it. Try and center this, and I just, I don't know if you can see, I just try and take the tiniest bit. Can you see how much I have in there? Just the tiniest bit. And now my folded inside card. And a paper clip over the top. Make sure it doesn't go over the bottom and it's sticking up some, okay? And then you're gonna just pop it through that hole, right? So you can do this in an assembly line, pretty much. So I started this video twice this morning. <laughs> This is take number three. So if I repeat, repeat myself in this video for something I already said, please excuse me because, oops, because I can't remember already what I've said. All right, forgot, forgot a piece, Martha. All right. I did make these a little short, so you might want to work on making yours a little bit longer. So there, that's what they're going to look like, right? So we just do a bunch of those. And then you decorate. You go, Well, you have to glue them together. <laughs> now, you could decorate them before you put them together like this. There's, you know, no police out there that are going to come knocking on your door because you didn't put it together in the order that you know, that you, you, you think you might have to. Um, nobody says my way is the right way. Least of all me. And I just find the, the hole to be easier to do than the uh, using my craft knife because, you know, me and sharp things probably aren't a good idea. So essentially what happens now is once you have them together, right, you have to make sure that these edges are glued down really tight so that when you put it over the edge of a page, it sticks and it doesn't catch. Okay. Ooh, that's really tight. And then you leave a little bit of the paper clip at the top so you can embellish that with yarn or thread or fabric or lace or whatever you want. So you do want to leave enough out in order to do that part because that's a fun part. So let's see. I'll show you the, the method, and I think I'm going to turn it over this way, but I'll show you the method of 
just using your craft knife again, just, just push it through where the fold is. And you don't need a big space. You just need a little, it doesn't have to be large. Okay. Put this down. And then you're going to put that in. Oops. There you go. So now I have some silver. I have some white. I can use these. And just ink them. You don't have to decorate your paper. Like, you don't have to have a background paper. Um, you just have to have two pieces. Now, you wouldn't... I wouldn't recommend using the really thin 20 pound copy paper you could glue two pieces together though and do it that way um glue two pieces together so it's thicker use that as your top and then use two pieces for the bottom or whatever you could use packaging for this you could use um anything you want to cover anything that you can fold but is stiff enough to take the the um to hold up against it being taken on and off of a page okay so this will be the last one that i do and then we'll decorate a few there okay all right we'll set all those aside Let's set this aside make way oh i hope i didn't just bump the camera sorry if i did um that goes there. I'll put these aside. I need I need to have cleanliness. <laughs> organization. Not cleanliness. Organization. And then um, like the white ones, you can ink them before. Oh wait, we skipped a step. Hold that thought. Let me get the trusty dusty glue. So I have to tell you, I I um finally started using a new bottle of art glitter glue and my other bottle this this poor little bottle here <laughs> you can see how grungy it is <laughs> it's a mess this glue i even took this tip off and there were like globs of glue coming out because the bottle of glue is like two years old now you can use definitely use fabri-tac for this you can use the art glitter glue you can look how easy that glue comes out and i've been struggling for months with my glue. All right, so you're gonna put this in here and carefully push it up so it's not, and you wanna make sure it's centered and you really need to make sure you get your bottom glued tight, but you don't want so much glue that it's gonna come out and glue the, the bottom shut, okay? And I'll show you in a minute, but I hold this down quite tightly all around the edges so that it's very um so it sticks very well and you know our glitter glue sticks pretty quickly and like I said you could decorate these first I decorate them after because for me it's like I like to see them put together now see this piece and you can put clips on these to make sure that they stick. But you got to make sure these edges are glued tightly to these edges. Because if they're not, every time somebody puts that on a page, it'll catch. And you don't want your inside edges to catch. So again, and, and you can see I didn't get that on there very straight. <laughs> and now it's too late because the art glitter glue has dried on the other side. So that one's not straight inside. Can, can you see? It's it's crooked, but that's okay. It won't show, and if it did, I can, like, um, scissors. I'm sorry, I keep reaching. So I can cut that side a little bit. Can't cut the other side because it's already glued down. So you do, wow, cloud just came over and it got really dark. So you do want to make sure this edge is tightly glued down. And again, you can use Fabri-Tac. I would not use a glue stick because you need something that's um, that that's strong. And I like the art glitter glue because it dries quickly. 
But again, you can put, um, just get your book, book binding clips out and you can just clip it down on the edge so that you make sure you're getting the edge stuck down really well. And yeah, it takes a little time and you can do this, you know, in front of television or whatever. I'm gonna push this up a little because I do not want, I need, I need just a little more space in there. There. I don't want my paper clip to hang down below this because it'll catch. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So hold it down where it belongs. There. Okay. Do, 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 do. But I do find that the um, the knitting needle tips, and so weird, I swear to you, I had not seen that anywhere else. And last night I was on Facebook and somebody said they've been using knitting, knitting needle tips on their glue bottles for months and they love them. So there you go. I swear to you, I did not see that before, but somebody brought it up about, you know, glue bottles and keeping it from drying out and stuff. You do have to put it on in between uses, which I'm not good at. But it's a whole lot easier to put on than the pin. So I hope for anybody who ordered them, you love them as much as I do, the concept of doing that. Okay. And you don't have to use cream-colored cardstock in the middle. I just think, you know... It was lighter weight, and that's what I wanted to have, was the lighter weight inside. And you could do it the other way around. You could put the lightweight on the outside if you have it. Um, I do get my cardstock at Staples. I don't remember if I said that or not. So, but yeah, it's amazing what a new, a new bottle of glue. <laughs> I'm so frugal, it's like reuse the same one over and over and over and over and over again. But the glue does glop up inside after two years. So probably not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm such a goof. <sighs> so my husband took the uh, our RV to get propane filled. And then he asked the guy in the shop. It's a very, very small shop up the road and uh he asked him if he thought he could switch out the ats switch which is an automatic transfer switch so in our class b we have like two twin beds side by side um very narrow <laughs> not not twin bed size at all um and on my side that i sleep on which is the shorter side um there's a there are electronics under the bed um and so we, when we plug in at night at a campground, um, the automatic transfer switch hums and it's right under my head. And I could switch my head around and sleep with my feet at that end, but the um, kitchen counter is at the other end and there's a bit of overhang and I'm afraid I would lift my head up and whack it on the um it's a uh, Corian countertop. So, um, yeah, I'd probably like give myself a concussion or a black eye or something. <laughs> so, so I haven't tried sleeping in that direction yet. And a lot of times when you park, you want uh, wherever your head is going to be is the part you want a little higher. It's easier to sleep with your head up than it is down because if your head is down even a couple of inches, a couple of degrees... Um, it's, it's really weird. Like it, it's really hard to sleep. <laughs> Trust me. I've tried it. Um, we've also been not level side to side before. And that's a hoot too, because I've almost rolled off the bed several times. 
times. <laughs> Somehow it always ends up that I'm rolling away from the side of the van it, towards the aisle and not the other way around. So, um, yeah, it's pretty funny. Okay. That one just needed to be a little, a little bit wider. Mm -mm -mm. So... I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to have to do another video. Oh, no, they say. Oh, no, not another video. Uh, yep, another video. Because I went out for the first time in seven months. I went out with a friend yesterday. And she wanted to go to the used bookstore downtown and turn in some books. My friend is a proofreader and editor for books. And she... <laughs> She is a book lover, and somehow she accumulates millions of books. Well, maybe not millions, but hundreds. So when she decides enough is enough and she wants new books, she has to make room. And so um, I told her I wanted to go to the used bookstore because that's where I found my... Um, <sighs> Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Sorry took me a second and so I wanted to see if they had any more well I got to the bookstore before her and the bookstore was closed however because she was dropping books off um, they made arrangements to be there to accept the books but the bookstore is closed to customers darn so I um, didn't get to go in and so we ended up meeting at Panera and we sat outside and yesterday was not as beautiful as today. We had um, a lot of rain last night. It filled a quart, not a quart, yeah, quart mason jar that I have out on the deck. Don't ask me why it's out on the deck. I have no idea. But anyway, <laughs> it's like my rain gauge. So um, I'm hoping that I'm not messing this up, that I didn't cut that cardboard too short inside. Woo! Well... Lost that one. <laughs> it's way down on the floor and I'm not going to get it. Um, so anyway, we met and we chatted. We were so happy to see each other. The sad part is we could not give each other a big old hug, which we usually do. She is the best hugger ever. And um, we share a birthday. She's younger than I am by a couple of years. But um, we were born on the same date. So we share the birthday and we're, we're very different from each other, different interests, some similar interests, like she knits and I knit, but she's a much better knitter. And she, it's like, it's like her journal making or ephemera making. Um, she does it every day, regardless. She does some knitting every day. Um, I'm not that fond of knitting because a lot of it counts on, uh, numbers and patterns and you know, keeping track. And I don't do that well. Um, it hurts my brain. So um, she's a much better knitter than I am. Um, she knows how to spin wool into yarn and I do too. Uh, she lo she proofreads books, all kinds of books, cookbooks and all kinds of things. Um, and I like to read, <laughs> but I'm not as prolific at it as she is. And so um, it's, you know, it's definitely, and she's very, uh, she likes to get into conversations that stimulate her. Um, she likes to banter back and forth with people. I don't like to do that. But we have many of the same thoughts on things. So, you know, if she says something and I don't necessarily 100% agree with it, I'll tell her my thoughts on it. But I don't get as into as deep conversation. I'm kind of the lighthearted friend she has. So um, it's very nice to get together with her. We don't get together a lot, even BC, before COVID. We didn't get to get together like every week or every month. But um, we do We do get each other. We get each other. We're both very blunt. And um, we don't have a lot of friends, although she knows a lot more people than I do. She's she's quite outgoing, but she is an introvert. I can be quite outgoing, but I am an introvert as well, especially 
the more people that are around. Um, but, you know, with age, I've become a little better as far as I don't really care what, you know, other people think of me, more or less. <laughs> I do have issues. But, okay, let me see if I can get this one that fell on the floor. It didn't go as far as I thought it did. When it slid off my leg, I thought, oh, that one's gone. Okay. Alrighty. So see, these are really easy, right? And we'll just put this up under here. Oops. These paper clips are thinner than the, I think, much thinner. I'm gonna use this one here. Oh, big gray hair on me. Get that off. I don't know if those are my hairs or my dog's hair. Yeah, so our little Evan, he's the one that's left. He's a year older than Gabby. And um, so we, we still have him, but he's shown his age, so it's hard. We've been pampering him a lot since we said goodbye to Gabby. So we had to jump in the car this morning and go get my husband at the RV place because... He wanted to go get the propane filled, and they're going to do the ATS switch for us. Switch out the switch. Although, I'm not sure I have that much confidence in this guy, because he wasn't really sure how to do it. But, it's easily accessible, and hopefully he doesn't fry our whole van. Or run our batteries down to nothing. So, anywho's, um, And we're hoping to get the van back today, tonight, this afternoon. So Tony called. He just went out there to get the propane filled. But the guy said, oh, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm not super busy right now. So I'll go ahead and do it, try and get it done today. I hate leaving our van anywhere. I hate it. And especially, like, it's out on a major road. And it's parked in the back where it can be seen from the major road. On the side, not in the back back. So there's all that. But anywho's, okay, so we got all that in. We put these aside and we'll take the ones that we've got done. Alrighty, now we're ready to cook, right? We cooking with gas now? That's another one that's done. I think I threw some aside there that I just glued. All right, okay, so it took a little while, right? Yeah, we're about 30 minutes in. So, now we'll get we'll get the sharp tools out of the way. Put those to the side. Move that over. Oh, don't spill your drink, Martha. Not again. All right, so now we just have to find embellishments. So, let me pull out some papers. So, I have some of those that I printed out in mini, mini form. I have this, and you can use whatever you want. You can use book page, you can use whatever you want. So I'm gonna just um, look around for stuff in here. So that'd be pretty on that. And let's see if I got a piece for the back. I don't know if that'll fit. It's a little thin, a little bit thin. That'll work. All right, put those down for a moment. I'm not going to put a bunch of papers out because then I just get overwhelmed. So I think... I'm just going to do this. I could tear it, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna cut it. There we go. And I'm just gonna glue this on. Hmm. I should have cut it that way. No, it won't fit. That's okay. That's all right. It's all right. Yeah, I can't believe how much easier my glue comes out of the new bottle. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. go 
And then all this needs is a focal point. You know, when you're ready to put it in a journal, if you want to find a focal point to put on it. And if you don't want to uh, wait. Me. I think I like it better that way. It doesn't really cover it all, but that's okay. I think what I'm going to do is put this here. And I'm going to put this. Yep. Just piecing it together. It's just making it work with what I've got. Okay. And just a little bit of glue. I can't believe how pretty today is. It's like the perfect day. Like it's cool and it's breezy and it's just so pretty out. So, so pretty kind of day you just want to be outside all day but I also want to be in my room here so with everybody okay so you know how I'm going to fix that up really easily <laughs> in my opinion I'm just going to ink it Ink across the top, ink around the edges, ink on the sides. And I like using my brush because it gets in the sides there and then you don't see the white. There you go. Another one, another one done. So, um... The books. I was telling you about the books. So I'm going to do a separate video and just show what I've got. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One of them is Better Homes and Gardens, and the other one is a Reader's Digest. And I haven't flipped through the Reader's Digest one, but I think it's the one I've been looking for. I saw somebody else use it. And I was so excited when she handed it to me. I about jumped up and down. <laughs> okay, that's going to be too small. So I'm just going to tear this. And I'm just going to tear it all the way down. Tear them both at once. Why not? All right. Should have used my ruler. Would have made life a little bit simpler. That's okay. Yeah, so I'll do a, a little video and do a flip through and show you what I got. But um, very excited. And that's going to keep me busy. That That's a good winter project. Um, you know, when it starts getting cold and dark early in the evening and all that kind of stuff. I, I sit in front of TV and fussy cut flowers out. Oops. <clears throat> oh, I just love days like today. I can hear the leaves rustling. There's no golfers out. There's no leaf blowers going. There's nobody with loud voices out there. My deck door is open, the sliding door, and I can just hear the leaves rustling. The birds are quiet. The birds were noisy this morning. Oh, spoke too soon. Here come a bunch of golfers. <laughs> ah, well, that's the way it goes, right? I was hoping I put those on right side up. <laughs> I just looked at this picture and it, it's upside down when I tore it off and I'm like, oh no. I did put those right side up, right? 
because you know that's probably what would happen but then you just cover it with something else and then you can put um let's see hold the thought i have that'd be really pretty behind it why not you can put some fabric on there can't really see that fabric very well can you all right we'll change it up put something else on it my favorite crocheted lace from dollar tree i should go back and see if they have any more okay so i'm gonna hang that off the edge see put this little guy this little little chipper monker right in the center it's a mini a mini picture <laughs> so that one's done I got mushrooms on one side all right let's find something else to use put the cap on the glue Martha all right something else to use let's see uh, pull the papers back up. What else is that? I don't know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Use that. Just make a background. I think this would be. be a bit big but I could tear it I could I could I could do that it's too big let's see what I can come up with here can you hear the golf balls being tinging off their golf clubs okay let's see if we can make this work I'm holding it up to the light to see how much I'd have to take off. Fold it over there. And fold it right there. So I'm going to tear this. I'll tear it in the right direction, though. I'll tear that. I'm just going to... Actually, this should go on a white one because white cover up that pretty background. And put it on that one. That's what I'm going to do. I like that. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So I have a funny story to tell you guys, although it might not be as funny to you all as it is to someone who has an RV. But we have, um, like I said, we have a Class B RV, which is a van. And we um, decided to do this, what we call a modification, where um, the sewer hose, which is what you use to dump your tanks, tanks are what hold the things like your dishwater is a gray tank holding tank. And then your... Oh, I tore that too small, <laughs> Martha. And then your black tank is what holds the stuff from the bathroom. We'll just put it that way. And so, um, so we decided that we wanted that hose. We we normally keep it in a big, like a big, like as big as the surface of my desk almost um plastic like zipper bag kind of like what you might get um uh well they used to sell them at target they're actually ziploc brand but they i i haven't been able to find the same ones anymore there but anyhow it's a big zipper bag that um it fit nicely in however because we're in a van 
we had to um, have it like inside the van, but in the back underneath, you know, the wardrobe part. So anyhow, I wanted it out of the van. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. I wanted it out of the van. So there's all these um, like ways to store them on the outside. Well, one of the ways is to get a um, a black plastic um, like uh, pipe kind of thing, and you stick it in there. Well, we I saw one on the Facebook page that we belong to, the Facebook group that we belong to for the same model of vans that we have. And it was to hang off the ladder and it would hang vertically off the ladder. Well, we tried that. Then we took the van and took Evan and took us and we went to town. And while we were in town, Tony, my ever wise husband said, you know, we should check to make sure that we haven't lost the sewer hose. <laughs> yeah, well, we had been to three stores, um, not in the same shopping center. Uh, one of them was quite a distance away. And guess what? We lost the hose somewhere along the way and we didn't know where. <laughs> and, and they're replaceable, but we had just spent, you know, a whole bunch of money on Gabby passing and medical stuff for her and some other things that came up. And so, yeah, so we, I was not wanting to have to go spend the money. And because it had been my bright idea to do it that way. <laughs> yeah. I said, we're going to go find that hose. So we drove from the shopping center we were at. It took over a half an hour to get to the other shopping center and like, Tony was driving, and I'm watching the road the entire way to see if it's anywhere along the route. So we backtracked all of our steps, couldn't find it. So Tony says, I'll bet you it's back towards our house. So after being gone, I mean, it literally took us over an hour to backtrack everywhere. And so we headed home and I was very upset and very disappointed and was not speaking out loud about anything at all because I was just so upset. And so we um, headed home and the stupid hose was two driveways down from us, <laughs> from our driveway. <laughs> it wasn't funny at the time, trust me. <laughs> but... You know, it's funny now. So I guess that's all that matters, right? <laughs> oh, I was angry. I was so angry. I think I'd be okay with a butterfly on the back, even though there's birds on the front. Oops, don't tear off the antennae. Okay, so that was a long day and a stressful day. And I think I came home and slept like, 10 hours at night and I usually sleep about six hours so uh yeah there was that <laughs> it's funny now I can I can chuckle about it now I was not chuckling that day trust me let's see where am I at okay I'm gonna have to hustle here let's see 48 minutes I think it says so these are fun they're quick and they're easy. Um, I For me, the hardest part is <laughs> embellishing, as usual. So, I I can't remember where this, where this comes from. Sorry. Which isn't unusual. This might be a graphics fairy. Um, it might be a... a public domain. Couldn't tell you. Don't remember. Now I'm going to do this one sideways to go this way on a page. Um, let's see. Something different. Get my tea dyed cheesecloth. Oops. Oops. 
Yep, the butterfly is gone. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh my gosh. This happens to me all the time. <sighs> I'm telling you, it's just hilarious. I mean, if I can't laugh at it, I'd cry. <laughs> Let's see. I like that. And then I'll just cut the excess off after. All righty. All righty. I'm just kind of put a light bit of glue there. Stick a finger, stick a finger, stick a fingers. I got stick a fingers. Oh, I was going to put it sideways. Doggone it. I blew that, didn't I? So much for sideways. Were you guys yelling at me? I wasn't listening. What else is new? Okay, and then I'm going to put something... I'm going to put something similar on the back. I don't like that one. That one I tore. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Put the glue on the bottle, Martha. So it doesn't become all gloppy. <laughs> ah, I love my life. <laughs> I'm not going to fit that figure seven on there, so I'm not even going to bother trying. Oh, I was enjoying the peace and quiet. Now all these people are here. All right. I'm just going to... See, that would have fit perfectly that way. <laughs> if i just done the other side sideways like I was supposed to. Can always I can always pick the edges off there see I like it I like it these are quick they're easy they're fun and if you do them in a like um, a process like, you know, a mass making kind of thing. They're pretty darn easy. Let's see. I think this is too big for... Yeah. Alright. Let's see what else I can find. Actually, I might just take my book out and find something to put on there. What do I want? Um, too big. Too big. That one would fit, though. Okay. And I am not going to... <laughs> we shall see. We shall see if we remember to do it this way. I'm just going to... Put this glue on here and see how this goes. Smooth it out a bit. Stick the dragonfly on. Who needs Mod Podge? Not I. <laughs> okay. And then something for the other side and keep it turned sideways because if I don't, Lord knows what's going to happen. Okay. I'm trying to decide if that's my husband talking on his phone in his office or that's somebody's out somebody outside. There. 
see how easy we're just going to clip this little wing here. Sorry, guy. Sorry, guy. Alrighty. So I didn't get them all done, but I am closing in on an hour and um, I don't want to rush. Let's see if I can find something. Maybe. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Here, let's see if I pull out the right book. Okay, I can put, oh, not that one. <laughs> we already did that one. That goes that way. Maybe not that one. These are photographs that I actually took and I just sized them down. So I'm just gonna Tear this off. This is another another love I have is photographing um, nature. Right, nature. <laughs> that's that's what that is. And I'm going to. Lighten this up just a teensy bit by cutting some of this off. I have this, it's like lace for a curtain. Hmm. Don't love it behind there. Nope, don't like it. I'm just putting this on. Just the way it is. I could always put something around it later on. Oops. And flip it over this way and maybe put, come on, pretty flower. Another of my photographs. There you go. That one's done. And then one more, one more. Can I make it? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Other book. I'm sorry. I hope I'm not um, hitting the stand. I don't think any of these are going to... Oh, this would be small enough. Nope, maybe, maybe, maybe. Nope, too big. Hmm. Loving it. Nort. I'm a nort. I'm going to put that on there. Because why not? And let's see. Do I like this there? You got a 49 and I got a 57, he says, out on the golf course. I'm trying to hurry and beat my hour, but I don't think I've done it yet. <laughs> I don't think so. This seems to be discombobulated there, but that's okay. We're just going to roll with it. Let's see. Can I do it? Can I do it? Woo! Little touch of glue under there. Okay. And then we'll put the other one on the other side. And maybe I'll put this one up here. Up here. And I think it'll go up here. And the fun part is, because they're going to be on the edges of the pages, you can leave stuff hanging off the edges, like fabric. I wouldn't leave paper hanging off the edges necessarily. And we just clip this guy off. Do you know how long it took me to realize it's okay to clip the edge of something off and it looks okay? Forever? <laughs> oh, come on. Get off my fingers. Okay. We are done with the ones that we made. 
So I think I did okay <clears throat> in an hour. Oh, oh gosh. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to put my books back. I should just leave it. Okay. So let me show you what we've got here. I need to move a few things so I can find them. Okay. So we've got this one. And we've got this one. And we've got this one, which of course something else could be put on there. And this one I made before. That one I made before. This one I made now. This one I made this time. And I can add lots of other stuff to these. I mean, I'm going to be adding stuff to this, obviously, because they're just too plain. But these are the bases. Uh, I think that's all I did this time. And then I've got all of these that I did before. So this is just, you know, like a couple of hours of work. And I thought it was fun. And I hope you'll give it a try. And I will, again, link Gail's video. And I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you. I'm grateful for you being here. I love you all. Have a great day. Happy crafting. Um, be well. Hugs, everybody. Bye.